Hi, I'm John. I'm the warehouse manager. This video we're going to shoot is for the proper operation of the Avant Co and any other percolator that we have that you'll get at parties. Um, the components of the percolator are the urn itself, which has a heating element on the bottom, an on off switch, the lid, the stem, and the coffee filter basket. First thing you want to do at the party when you're ready is to check that you have all of the pieces to the percolator in the box. In addition, you may have an extension cord. That's if you need to run an extra length from wherever to wherever the coffee pot is going to be, the urn is. So then you fill the coffee pot up, the percolator up, to the max line, which in this case is 110 cups of water. Forever. You put the water into the into the percolator, however much you're going to need goes in. You then assemble your stem and basket. The stem has a top end and a bottom end. The bottom end has a bell shape or a base. The top end actually has a line that will stop the basket from sliding down. You slide the top end through the bottom of the basket in the center. It will slip through and you'll be able to grab the stem from the top. You then put the stem into the percolator. There's a hole in the bottom from where the stem will actually sit into the percolator. So it'll sit in place and be set. Now, you put your coffee into the basket. In this case, because this is just a demonstration video, we're using a small bag of pre-ground coffee. At the event, you'll get a large Ziploc with at least a pound of regular, a pound of decaf, and whatever else you may need. You then grab the top of the stem and you kind of shake it around in the center. And you have it rattle off the sides of the, the urn, not hard, but just enough to level the coffee beans out. The grounds have to be level. You take your lid, you put it on the top. You have two black sections on these Avanco models that are plastic. You turn them and they slide and lock into place on your handles. You then turn your coffee percolator on with the switch. You'll see the light come on that says heating. If that light does not come on, the Avanco models have a reset button on the bottom. To reset these, you must take the water out of them. So you take your basket out, you take your stem out, you dump the water out. You unplug the percolator. On the bottom, there's a hole drilled into the center or near the center of the percolator with a plastic bar straw sticking out. Firmly press that until you hear it click. It clicks. You lift it upright, you plug it back in before filling it with water, and you flip the switch. If the light comes on, it's good, immediately turn the switch back off. You do that so you don't burn out the heating element of the percolator. You just want to make sure that it works. So you refill it with water, you reassemble your basket stem assembly, back into the center it goes. And you put your lid back on. And you turn it on. And you walk away. As long as it works, you're fine. As long as you get the light, it's going to work. And that's the end of the operational aspect of the percolator. To clean up the percolators, very simple. You turn it off, unplug the percolator. Safety issue, you never want to get electrocuted, so you unplug it, you're dealing with water. Take the lid off. The used grounds get dumped into a trash can. The water gets dumped into a sink. Then your dirty basket goes in the bottom of the percolator. Your dirty stem goes inside the percolator. Your lid goes back on the top. You 
screw it tight, and the whole thing goes immediately back into the percolator box. The box is closed and loaded onto the truck. That's all there is to it.